Hello, welcome to Moving Math, where we upload a new math video every day. In this video, I'd like to show you three methods or three different ways that you can use to find the least common multiple. And the different ways would be the first, I'll use a ladder method, and then the traditional factoring, and then a factoring tree or prime factorization. So let's go ahead and get started. And uh, as you watch this, you can kind of decide which way you think would work best, uh, which one you would like, or in certain situations, certain ones work better than others. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and begin. The two numbers that I'm going to uh, find the LCM for, or the least common multiple, is 20 and 35. The first technique, I just write the two numbers and then draw a bracket underneath, and then find the smallest prime number that will divide into both of these evenly. And for 20 and 35, the smallest would be 5. So 5 goes into 24 times, and 5 goes into 35 7 times. Okay, 7 is prime as 5 is prime, but both numbers are not prime yet, so it's not finished. So the next number is 2. Now 2 will not go into the 7, but it will go into the 4. So I write the 2 because 2 is prime. And so 2 goes into 4 2 times and into 7. It does not divide into 7 properly, so I will bring the 7 down. At this time, I am finished because I have two prime numbers at the end. I then just multiply, and some people draw a L around this. Multiply the numbers on the outside, so it will be 5 times, that's a terrible 5, times 2, times 2, times 7. And when you multiply that together, that gets you 10 times 2 is 20, and 20 times 7 is 140. So there we go using the ladder method. Now let's use the traditional method. I have 20 and 35, and then I just basically, I will multiply 20 times 2, which is 40, 20 times 3, which is 60, 20 times 4, which is 80, 20 times 5, which is 100, and then 120 and 140. I then proceed and do the same thing for 35, 35 times 2 is 70, times 3 is 105, times 4 is 140, etc., etc. And then what I do is I look for a common number in both of these. And in this particular instance, the common number is 140. Okay? The traditional method works, and in certain situations, it's a little bit easier. Like if you have 1 half uh, plus 3 fourths, then you can easily create factor trees and find the lowest common multiple that way. And then the last technique is creating a factor tree. And so I, again, will write the numbers 20 and 35. I then just create a factor tree, 2 times 10, and I circle the 2. And then that is not a prime number, so I then... Um, go 2 times 5, and they were both prime, so I will circle them. Then uh, 5 will go into 35, 5 times 7, and it is factored because they are both prime. I then look for common numbers in both of these, and 5 is found in both, so I'll write a 5, and then I multiply the rest of the prime numbers together. So I will write a 2, and a 2, and a 7. And when you multiply that together, you get 140. So again, you have three techniques. You have the ladder, the traditional factoring, whoops, that's a little messy, and prime factorization or a factor tree. Okay, now let's go ahead and look at three numbers. And I'll start with the ladder method for 6, 12, and 36. So I will draw a line underneath and divide it by the smallest prime number that will go evenly into these numbers, and that will be 2. 2 goes into 6 3 times, 
2 goes into 12, 6, and 2 goes into 36, 18. I am not down to all primes, so I will repeat the process. And I'm going to use 3 as my prime, because that's the smallest prime that will go into the bulk of these numbers. 3 into 3 is 1, 3 into 6 is 2, and 3 into 18 is 6. I'm still not at all prime, so I will repeat with the number 2. 2 goes in, will not divide into 1, so I'll bring the 1 down. 2 will divide into 2 one time and 2 will go into 6 three times. I'm not now down to all primes. You don't have to, but I'm going to draw an L around these, and these are the numbers that you will multiply together. So I have 2, 3, 2, 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. And 12 times 3 is 36. So using the ladder method, the LCM for 6, 12, and 36 is 36. Let's move on to the next one. Next, let's move on to the traditional method. I then write the three numbers out and factor them. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18. 24. 30. 36. Then 12 we have... 24, 36, 48, etc., etc. Okay? And then 36 times 2 is 72, etc., etc. And if you'll notice, we find a 36 in each of the three numbers. And so that would be the LCM using the traditional method. Okay? And finally, you can create a factor tree using these three numbers. So you have 6. 12, 36, 2 times 3 is 6. They are both primes, so I will circle them. 2 times 6, circle the 2 because it's prime, but it is not done yet because we don't have two prime numbers. 2 times 3, I will circle that. They are prime. And then with 36, you have 2 times 18. Circle the 2 because it is prime. And then for 18, let's go 2 times 9. Oops, not 3. 2 times 9, circle the 2. And then 9, I'm going to rewrite this. 9 is equal to 3 times 3. And now that is prime. I then <clears throat> look for any duplicate numbers. And 2 is duplicate in the middle, so I'll write a 2. 3 is duplicate in all 3. So I'll write a 3. 2 is duplicate again in 12 and 36. So I'll write a 2. And finally, I have left over a 3 down here times 3. Okay, when I multiply these together, 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. And 12 times 3 is 36. Okay, so again... That is three different ways to find the LCM. You had the ladder technique, the traditional factoring, and then finally you create a factor tree. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Moo Math uploads a new math video every day.